Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to share you how you can jailbreak iOS 14 um, up to 14.2 beta 1. Um, people also confirm that on 14.2 beta 1, you can also jailbreak using CheckRan. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you on Windows how you can jailbreak iOS 14 on Windows. But for now, it only support on A9, which means um, it is going to support on iPhone SE. Um, the, the iPhone SE from 2016 and the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus. So if you have um, the device on A10 chips, uh, which means if you have iPhone 7 or 7 Plus up to the iPhone 8, it doesn't support yet. Um, but it will come in a week, so you can wait. Now, in order to jailbreak your iPhone SE, iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, there are a few simple steps that you need to follow. Um, first, you must have um, 8GB USB and after that um, you need one more software called uh, Balena software um, it, it is completely free, you can download either for 64-bit um, or 32-bit windows now after the download is complete so you can just um, double click on the file that you have just downloaded here then hit on run now um, hit on agree and then um, Balena software should be installed on your PC um, it doesn't take um, long time, so it takes just um, a few seconds. And now it is completely done. You will need uh, one more file. Um, it is the file uh, CheckRan here. It is the file that allows you to run CheckRan on your window. So you can click on this link and it will bring you to make a uh, website. Um, and then you can just uh, wait for this to load first. And now uh, I'm gonna close Balana software first and um, you can hit on this download button to download check rent file now the download is done you can just hit on ok to save your file that download from Mega. and you're gonna open um, the folder here and i'm gonna copy this file to my desktop so i can i can just drag and drop um, let me close all of these first now you have a um, check red file that you have just downloaded, so you need to extract it. So I'm gonna extract um, here on my desktop. Now the file um, has been extracted, and you can see the ISO file. Now you need to um, plug in your USB to create um, a bootable USB and run check red on your window. So after that, you can search for Balana. And here is the app itself. So you, you need to right click and run it as administrator. Um, and then you can hit on yes. And now you're gonna see um, this page. So you're gonna click on flash from file. And then go to check around here. Um, the file that you have just extracted it is .iso file. Double click. Then you need to select your target which is um, your USB. And for me it is 8 gigabyte. I can hit on select. Uh, finally, you can simply click on flash. So if you see an error like this, you need to go to um, virus and threat um, protection. Um, you need to turn off real-time protection here. And then um, you can just go back and you need to retry again. So I'm going to click on retry and select my USB one more time. Um, hit on select and finally click on flash. Then it should be working, as you can see here the progress bar. Now you can wait for this process to finish, and after that we are going to restart our PC. Now it is completely done, so you need to restart your PC and we need to go to BIOS. So as soon as your PC goes black, you can hit on escape key when it turns back on. So um, it is depend on the PC that you have. Uh, for me it is HP, so I can just hit on escape to go to BIOS. However, if you have like Dell, you can just um, press on delete key. And if you have on, um, if you are on ASUS, you can press on F2. So it is depend on um, the PC that you have. Now we can uh, boot from my USB. Uh, for this step, it is also different. So if you have um, like the other one, you need to find um, boot device option. For me it is going to be uh, F9 and then it will bring me to this page where I can boot from my USB so I can just um, use the arrow down to move my um, selection. Uh, for me uh, when I select on the USB 
straight away it doesn't work for me it just put me back to window so I need to boot from um, EFL file where I can hit on enter then I can hit on enter one more time go to EFI go to boot and then you're gonna see um, either boot um, 32 and, 80, um, and 64 so I can go to 64 here um, then it's gonna boot me to this page so I'm gonna zoom out now on your phone, you should be able to see this pop-up. Um, it is um, I you to trust, so you can hit on trust. Now go back to your PC. Um, in order to run check run, you can just simply press on LF2. Then you're gonna see um, check run pop-up. So I can just um, go to option here, and I can use arrow up to move um, to allow untrusted version where I can check on it. Then I can go back. Um, I can hit on next and next one more time um, then it will put my phone into recovery mode and as you can see on my phone here it is um, turn off and it will turn on and go into recovery mode so we're gonna wait for a while now now my phone is in recovery mode and which um, bring me to the next step where you can uh, put your device in DFU mode. Now to put your device in DFU mode, you can just simply hold on the power button and home button for like five seconds. And after that, after five seconds, you can release um, the power button, but keep holding the home button. And until you see DFU mode successfully on the screen here, now we can hit on um, start. Release your power button, but keep holding the home button. Now you're gonna see DFU mode successfully. I can just um, release and just wait for the booting screen. Now you're gonna see check ran on my device here. Now it's gonna say all done. So go back to your device. And now unlock it, um, hit on trust one more time. You're gonna wait for check run to pop up. And check run is finally here, you can launch it. And one more thing, in order to install side here, um, your phone must connect it to the internet. Now my uh, my phone is connected to Wi-Fi here, I can install side here. Now it will kick you back to your home screen and after that you should be able to see side here. Now you can launch side here here. Now when I scroll all the way down, you can see um, I have the iPhone SE um, that have been jailbroken on iOS 14. So finally, thanks for watching. I hope this video it helped you. If you want to see more jailbreak tweaks for iOS 14, make sure you stay subscribed. Then I will see you guys in the next one.